that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business, or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Once came much later. From the garden's direction. The dark ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. Hm. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? Wake up, Artyom! It's me, Khan! Nightmares, eh? No wonder. 
after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's Hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan, how the hell did you get here? Get out, now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. Artyom. Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is construction we started in Stalin's time. It went on until the USSR broke down. It still feels like war was inevitable, they said. The, last the people believed in a better Did future. What our leaders put their money on Armageddon. This church last week, so he squats through the marshes to the church base. Come on, we have five more sets of 30. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Doing good. Pathetic. No wonder the colonel ordered the training time down. Just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. Keep your back straight. The child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> well, Romanov's not <laughs> Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the army. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> all right. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. are good for long range but you don't want to get caught with your pants down if something creeps up behind you. Weapons down! Target check! Congratulations! I've seen! Completed I've had a great of code of nostalgia and gave weapons to you people! 
How was that gun? Like it? What the fuck is this? What are you aiming at? Fucking sniper! I'll train you till you can hit the target with your eyes. To try another gun? I have a fine selection. No way, the base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the doors. There's going to be a big assessment still sealed. Some are welded shut. Please, let me smoke the base. I was on duty in the situation room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. You're an expert on hell and its denizens? Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Quad 44. Shit. What the hell did you do? Opening up! All right, let's go. Sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. So cut that shit out. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel. 
and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. The red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they base the order to ring the fine. The guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the Nazis. I just left the briefing. Hey, do not see us. Miller ordered all our men Why the here on this base. I hear the Reds are mobilizing. Kermit, take two. these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm? But we're trying to communicate. Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter. The best of the order is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God. You have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short.